What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Wavy Boy, back at again with another wrestling talk. Happy Halloween. See me with the It t-shirt. That's not important. Let's get into these topics. Now, first things first, if you watch uh, Friday Night Smackdown last week, Bray Wyatt did another uh, crazy promo, and then we happen to see this mysterious figure uh, person on, on the big screen. A lot of people speculating that it's his brother, Bo Dallas, because he seemed like a little, uh, what was it, diamond, diamond uh, cross Aaron. So now... It could it could be his brother now since what was it Extreme Rules Bray Wyatt made his debut and then like the following that following Monday or that Wednesday Wednesday or one of those days he had um he finally got picked up and then I remember that I interviewed him saying either way me and my brother we we gonna eat so that's a good look for uh to see them two become like a a little team a stable or whatever so. Could be, could be Bo Dallas. And then I also seen more people said it could have been uh, Uncle Howdy. I don't know if a lot of y'all would probably know who Uncle Howdy is, though. Maybe some of y'all might. I I don't, so I got to do my little research on that. But nonetheless, will we ever see uh, Bo Dallas come come and join uh, Friday night with his brother? And then we'll see the rest of the people that's in uh, Bray Wyatt's uh, team. Now, next story. I don't know if y'all also seen this on Twitter. <laughs> They had a picture of, a, what was it, CM Punk's dog saying that he got jumped in a scrum fight. And I'm sitting there thinking to myself, like, what the, what in the world is the dog doing? So, I, because I, I remember I seen a tweet, I'll, I'll probably post it after this video, of CM Punk saying that his dog got injured. I'm sitting there thinking, like, what could he possibly get injured? And then more and more story, they were saying how, like, alleged, allegedly uh, Kenny Omega was holding his dog like hostage and whatnot and CM Punk trying to tell him like stop don't hurt him stop don't hurt him you know it's, it's more and more stories we keep hearing from the scrum fight but yet we don't have that one person to actually sit down and be like oh I've I seen it all because the only people we can only hear from the CM Punk's of you I would say A still but he he got fired that's crazy because he, he only had one fight and then after that he got fired he had an okay promo then got fired and then of course you got um the young bucks and whatnot, but yet we still don't know the full story of what caused this fight. All we keep on hearing is he say, she say, but nonetheless, CM Punk, hopefully your dog, <laughs> uh, I'm sorry for laughing, but his, his dog, I don't know, his dog looks ugh, a little scary, but nonetheless, <sighs> yeah, I don't know, it, it ain't looking too good for uh, AEW. Now you also got uh, Chris Jericho allegedly saying that CM Punk is a cancer in the locker room. And I mean, if it's true, CM, uh, CM Punk, Chris Jericho should be the last person to be talking about somebody being a cancer in the locker room. You, it's to the point now, like you made so much money and you're not, and you're not satisfied with the money you made from wrestling. Think about it. You're like, you should be one of the top, top paid guys on there. It was, it was cool when you was doing commentary, but like now they got you as the Ring of Honor champion, and it's like there's nothing else for you to do. Go go tour or something. Like ain't you ain't you a rock person? It's bad enough. We got to hear your song every Wednesday, every Friday of of you singing a terrible song. But I mean that's just my opinion though. I ain't I ain't a cult cult life fan for that. But if it's true, Chris Jericho, be quiet. CM Punk, on the other hand. We, we just need to know when he's going to come back. Because we already know first things first. When he come back and get paid from um, by Tony Khan, he's just going to rip everybody on the mic. I think that, I think that's why everybody's scared of him. He knows what to say on the mic, when, when to say, when not to say. Shock value this, shock value that. I mean, that's punk at the end of the day. You can't you can't keep the, keep the man quiet. So, yeah, y'all get down in the comment box below. Will somebody finally say the um what really happened at the scrum fight, or this is just gonna be a mystery that we'll never know of the brawl for it all fight? Happy Halloween. Uh be safe out there. You know, people people crazy nowadays, man. I mean, if you're over 21, you shouldn't be still trick-or-treating. Y'all should be going out to parties, do something. But nonetheless, happy Halloween. Also, comment box, comment, comment down below. What's your favorite scary wrestler? It could be the Boogeyman, Bray Wyatt, Undertaker, Kane, you know, them type dudes. 
if you like any buried alive matches i know i'm rambling on I'm, i just want i just want the video to at least make it to five minutes but nonetheless keep following me on uh instagram wavy wavy wrestling compilation my regular page wavy boy 15 like share and subscribe tell a friend to tell a friend that likes wrestling so we can get these views up so i'm trying to do more with this channel i don't know what but i'll think of something but anyway like share and subscribe and it's your boy wavy boy i'm out peace